gadies and gentlemen, guys and burls, intersectional and intersexual variations of the species known as Homo sapiens sapiens. Welcome to the Fort Chronicles. I am Captain Harambe Humongous Peppy Privilege the Third Esquire, and with me, the no choice of their own, are Doctor Darkseid. Be welcome. And Grandmaster Tech. So glad you've shortened your name. Back in the heyday, that would take you about half an hour to get through. Shortened what name? A glorious name. Donald J. Privilege. <laughs> Is it not? Is that not the original? Certainly not. It was about 700 syllables, but yeah. We are narrow casting to you live to holotape, folks. But being directly into your temporal lobe, straight from Utubes. Could try and say that without stumbling and stuttering, but it's more. it's more endearing to the public if, if you don't so don't edit me out are you saying the public are don't, idiots don't t- no just, you know editing just being me. real you know editing's for pussy hat it's been nonchalant <laughs> <laughs> yeah as you can set, tell yeah, dark side is on a new kick this oh week oh god onto the, the the pussy hat scene thing. I didn't want to look at the fucking the bell when I seen Pussy and hats getting said. Yeah, I figured that was private. It was as bad as ass hats, you know. I didn't want to bring it up, but you know. The Falk Artificial Intelligence System, folks, has been scanning your primitive planet for curatable culture and any signs of intelligent life. And suffice to say, we're not finding all that much. However, what it has found for me this week is something of a of an anomaly. We're in a bit of a wrestling here and there, folks, but. I don't know how many of y'all know about or knew about the uh, phenomenon known as Juggalos. And when you merge the two, what do you get? Juggalo Championship Wrestling. What do you think about that, lads? I'm not even entirely sure what a Juggalo is. So no. the, juggalo the, the, is someone, this is going to be quite an experience for me. A Juggalo me. is someone who sexually identifies as a clown. Sexually identifies as a clown. From what I, from what I believe. So okay. therefore they put, not bef- This was before the clown So their gender, it's their sexual it, orientation. It's less of a clown face makeup. And you know it's more arty, kind of black and white. You know? Okay. Kinda. Imagine, so imagine we were in a goth... You're sexually attracted to clowns. Imagine or? you were in a goth metal band... <laughs> But then the goth metal band got more into white, middle, suburban hip-hop, white I, trash I'm kind of scared of clowns. And then be, hearing about people that sexually identify as clowns, that really well, freaks me out. Well, that, that is, there isn't all that much clowning going on in Juggalo Championship Wrestling, but, you know. Well, as long as they're not clowning round about me. Well, with it. Note to self, remember what Darkseid said, we can use that later. <laughs> yeah. So, without any further ado, and with that all being said, as I believe is a custom, let's get somewhere in the middle of this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck, okay, Fuck be tripping. Fuck be tripping. It's chips, all good. Right. It's all good. We're going to get down with the homies here. Okay? <laughs> oh, oh. Mate, oh mate. Anyway, let's get right into this on screen. This is the oddball brawl. The oddball brawl. I don't know why they have a fracking already. robot, but okay. The sound of this. Not at the moment, for a minute. No. Just because it's probably got some, you know, some fake iron chic knockoff. Madman Pondo, who oh. we've covered once before. A abortion on his face. <laughs> and Evil Dead. <laughs> The Honky Tonk Man? <laughs> so basically, was Elvis? Been, every now and then they've been paying to get some semi like big stars. The one legged guy. Yeah. A random one legged guy. That's mental. Oh, pig face. That's, guy. that's a juggalo right there. That's a juggalo. He looks like a pig. A juggalo. He looks like a pig. He looks like a pig with clown makeup that's on. That's terrible. That's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> you sound, you sound like Donald, how I interpret things, you sound like man. Donald Trump right now. Psychopathiclive.com And the right. St. Andrew's Hall. I wonder how St. Andrew would feel about this. So here's our first match, guys. Oh, shit, bro. He's only got one leg. One legged wrestler versus King Kong. Against that guy? Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's going to die. King Kong. Here we go, folks. He's going to die. Who do you think's going to win? 
One legged bud. One, what do you think? Oh, one legged guy. Yeah, yeah I think the one legged guy's gonna win. That was ideal. I think he's at a distinct disadvantage here. Come on, man. This guy's on <laughs> NHS funding. <laughs> maybe if he had like a cybernetic leg replacement. Maybe. Uh, he left that in the trunk of his car. I mean, I'd love to hear his argument about why he should be in the ring wrestling uh, when he's technically disabled and, you know, this is a, an unfair match. But He's got a beef because the guy stole his leg. Yeah, but whatever argument he would have, he wouldn't have a leg to stand on. Oh, but I'm Fuck, man, you need to readjust your levels. Face. That was a Seriously. Face fail. Damn. Thanks for saving my dank joke with your dank fucking comeback. That's perfectly fine. But it's all good, because this match couldn't get much dank on. <laughs> oh, like, in reality... So at what point does this become, like, abusing disabled people? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm wondering, you know? I mean, but, he wants to get in the ring, though, so yeah. hell fucking does. Isn't the disabled guy abusing himself? Are you going to tell that guy he can't get in the wrestling ring? Just sweep me with his fucking one leg and put you in a one-legged sharpshooter well, and think fucking about, kill Are you, you being able to? Would you want to be the guy that got killed by the one-legged wrestler? That sounds like a it fucking... It wasn't me. It was the one-legged man. It sounds like a Scooby-Doo Do you mystery. want to be the guy that kills the one-legged wrestler? Oh. And be accused of all sorts. <laughs> well, think about it this way. How dare you? When you're pinning the guy, at least you don't have to hold four limbs. No. Hey, Ficker 4, how are you going <laughs> to... How are you going to work that one? Ah, uh, yeah, can he split the ropes? Home of Tejano Music. What has this got to do with clown? The, the one-legged guy, what, is he a clown because... No, he's, a, he's an honorary juggalo. Basically, the uh, insane clown posse, who are a white rapping duo juggalo, for those who don't know, kind of very underground in America, so we say, were uh, wrestlers at one point in WCW and a few independent promotions. At some point, they've... <laughs> I check out the announcer in the back. <laughs> <You know? laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's not a real juggalo, I don't think, because he just comes out in a blonde wig yeah, with his lips painted yeah, black and a fucking white. Like you're saying about the sexual identification thing, this is like very much like a fetish. But wrestling's always had this. I mean, look, this King Kongo had face paint on. His fucking manager in the corner here's got a black spider. Wrestling's always on. been steeped in fetish. Is that what you're getting at? Oh, what's the male fantasy in it? Fantasy uh, of two grown men in the ring. Uh, all up. It can be your fantasy if body you want body, to be. cheek to cheek, you know, trying to pin each other down, put them in a submission hold. No, you try to suggest something here, Darkside. Is that, that what you're getting at? This Suggesting is, it's your fantasy, you, not are you anybody assuming else's. Assuming the sexual preferences of these wrestlers and wrestlers now. You weren't happy enough. Oh, we're look, he's giving them a leg up. Oh my god, that is really bad. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty gratuitous. Oh, God. <laughs> Leg and a wink to save the king. This is clickbait wrestling. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> one-legged guy. Fuck it, I'm going to watch that. Come on and watch the oh, one-legged no. guy. But oh, no, he's rolled out. Give me the old one-legged switcheroo. Use your hop- footwork. He's Use your hopping footwork. mad. Fuck. He's hopping mad. <laughs> You think it's sarcastic when people, he thinks people are being sarcastic if they ask him what's, to, you know, turn heel? Huh? <laughs> I think you hit, oh yes, the wrestling puns. No, I think you hit on it with your whole fantasy thing. I think this is homoerotic as fuck. And it's, oh it's, God, no, it's, gr- it's gratuitously homoerotic. Go. Oh God. Even with a one-legged guy. Dark side, the fucking prude, everyone. <laughs> Guy, so, couple of guys, the frigid, so d- it, dressed it, in latex. Oh, oh he's oh, about, he's about to table a single motion to ah, the board. It's disgusting. <laughs> Tape of a single motion. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh, I'll handle the dank puns. Thank you very much. From here on in, dank puns privilege revoked. He mu- I wonder if he's got table envy, he's got more legs than he does. Oh, too far. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. No, this is you fucking too it. far. Oh. Oh. Man, and he wins, because it was a table match. That guy's got more cleavage than Lola Ferrari. Damn. Amazing. Zach Gowen using that 
But yeah, King Kong goes pretty pissed off. You know, Kongo Kong, sorry. this is a David and Goliath type match. This is really unbalanced. Well, he's just had the piss ripped out of him, so now he's he's on the warpath. He's going to chase him. Would that be a single track? So, uh, moving slightly on into the match. That's patronising as fuck, letting the disabled guy win, though. They should should have given him a fair go. Keeping it real classy, they've got a juggalette out. Just oh, to, yeah, of course. To be the ring crew. Here's our announcer. <laughs> Somehow I think he's not a real fucking juggalo. You're supposed to take him seriously. Whoop, whoop. He looks like meatloaf with face paint. He reminds me of the Sweeties or something. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But this is this promotion scene awesome. I mean, That's we've got a fucking creepy. DJ in between shit. We've already had, you know, disabled acrobats being included. It's maybe, inclusive, okay? Maybe if you're like 12, this would be entertaining. How? How? This is kids' entertainment, man. Is it? Check it. Is it nothing? Look. Big bright <laughs> colours and everything. Tracy Smothers out with, you know, that, that awesome... That favourite oh, flag. Jeez. That favourite flag. Put that away. Especially, that way. especially in it. the hip-hop community. It was really ironic as this guy's name was Tracy Smothers. and, and His ECW, name? Yeah, Tracy Smothers. And uh, in, in the ECW, he, uh, <laughs> he wrestled as an Italian who of course called he himself of the, in the FBI, the full-blooded Italians. So, like, what the fuck is he out here? He <laughs> just yeah. switched up his entire get up gimmick to Coming now, to you now in Tracy new Smothers a fucking redneck. That's insane, you know? Because capitalism. <laughs> Clearly. It. You've got to keep it fresh. You've got to keep it fresh. If you want your pennies. So, uh, meanwhile, yeah, she's totally after pissed. this match. And while the DJ is kicking off, so called DJ. Oh, he's not done. No, he's not done oh. abusing the disabled. Congo Kong, he's chased him back out to the frack and rig. He didn't stop chasing him. He's running in the back the whole time. No one could hold him back. Really, what were all the other wrestlers doing? Now he's trapped. Trapped. my conscience by kicking him in the face where he was Here we go. Here we go. What's he put him through a table? That's all he wants. He just wants to. He put wants the guy to put him through a table. He's going. To, he's trying. Oh. I thought he he's got pronounced the winner though. I thought the disabled guy got. There should be a table underneath the Congo. Congo. Did Congo. There you go. Congo, there's a table. The, there's a table. You know. Congo. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Have the table. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's pick up this table and uh, haul it into the ring. Let's. Fold the legs away properly, you know, <laughs> health and safety and all that. Come on, let's just see you disable, <laughs> just yeah. abuse this disabled guy. Come Ask on. the one-legged man to give you a hand on, to put the table up. Congo Kong with his half black face. Oh, Slightly racist. Yeah. yeah. Half black face. I've got a name like yeah. Congo Kong. I'm sure he's clearly black heritage of some kind. Black face, half black face. Did you just assume partial black face? Did you just assume his racial ethnicity? Racial, racial ethnicity. Yeah, that's what I do. How dare you? How dare you, dark side? Somebody's got to. Yeah. So. So this is Danky Dank. One legged guy was quite surprising. I'm not surprised he got beat in the end though. That's realistic. Feeling some realism here. <laughs> Don't know if you are. <laughs> well, you really want some realism. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, this guy is the epitome of realism. Oh, no, Jesus. This guy. Oh my god, who is this? Evil Dead. Evil Dead. The wrestler, Evil Dead. Really? With his tag team partner, the Rude Boy. Really? Uh. <laughs> oh, is he some junkie they grabbed from out the back? No, he's a zombie. He's, he's dead. He's a zombie. He's been brought back to life. This is just insane. I shouldn't call the man a one night. He's not a man. I shouldn't 
He's not a man. Apparently he's a legend and he's the first ever member of the JCW Hall of Fame. Really? Yeah. Quite a legend in the local scene. He's, yeah, because he's probably been about for generations, right? So it kicks straight off. Oh, that was but dead unfair. About 40 seconds in. Yes. If I can find it. Wow. Can find it. They handcuff him to the ring. Smartest thing you can do. Handcuff his on by the ring side. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, go on, remove your arm. There we go. Yes, yes. Who can beat a dead man? Absolutely nobody. But now, with him in the uh, uh, handcuff to that top row. Okay. It's unbelievable. I'm just looking here watching people. You guys are loving this. Don't even lie. I think I'm dying. This is, this is cray cray. Well, we've got the incredible finishing move coming up here, folks. From Rude Boy. And they're going to rip his arm off. Oh, no, quite. The testicular claw. <laughs> Red boy is yeah. the testicular yeah. claw. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> what were you saying about sexual fantasy earlier on? Yeah, just, just the weird one. by the... Wait a minute. <laughs> Surprised it wasn't tic tic testicular really, teeth or really something. really hurt so like, Put the cinder block on the nuts. Get the sledgehammer. You know, that old chestnut. As you do. <laughs> <laughs> As yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Oh, oh, it's like 27 hours later. 127 hours later. How would you even mess about with that? Later. Swinging a sledgehammer at somebody's balls. You wouldn't even joke about that. Oh, God, he just ripped through his own hand. <gasps> oh, my God. None of you seen that coming. Yeah, totally didn't see that coming. Yeah. That's amazing. You didn't step on that punchline. Not only wrestling, but any So, <laughs> this has been a failed experiment brought to you from <laughs> the Fort Chronicles. Probably failed a good semi-educational experiment. Probably a good oh, reason a why, it's, why it's been fucking in the back burners for for weeks now. Yeah. See, that's some kind of homoerotic sexual action there. On the search for the dankest and dumbest <laughs> search for intelligence on the planet, folks, we will come across some. Looking for the dankest. Unforgivable. <laughs> Homoerotic. Homo disabled. <laughs> beaten. Material that we can get our hands Necrophiliac. <laughs> kinky. I don't know. <laughs> come on. Racial approach. Bending their legs up in the air, that's, that's disgusting. Uh, well, what have you learned, gents? Don't mess with an undead wrestler. And if you're going to handcuff him, um, handcuff his neck, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. There are no ends of one-legged bad puns, but some should just not be said. And that uh, uh, maybe Juggalo is the farthest dank you guys are prepared to go. Oh no! Maybe the juggle or maybe the wrestling. Not I, entirely sure. I'm prepared to go danker. This just melted my brain just a little. Bit. <laughs> well, of no words. Yep, there, there, there are absolutely no words. I suppose. Eh? <laughs> I think I need a drink. If you, uh, if you even get to see this, folks, if it doesn't get vetoed and we decide not to even release it. Fucking. <laughs> 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 Uh, Fox, zombie, zombie, Fox gonna delete it, I think. zombie high five that like button and join us on the road to 10 subscribers possibly down from 7 to 5 at the moment just depends <laughs> and support short form long form content creation on YouTube by subscribing to us one legged smackdown on that like button if you'd like to see less of the juggalo wrestling. Yeah. Um, 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 you take that like button. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's any signs of intelligence out there, let us know in the comments, folks. But in the meantime, this has uh, been a narrow cast recorded straight to holotape and fucking 
buzz fed into your brain directly through YouTube. <laughs> You guys have bossed me, you know that? You fucking, I've been so happy with this. I was so happy. I thought it was going to bring us so much joy and laughs. And it's like a fucking wet flannel or a damp squib. Life is a box of chocolates. God. And so, Saints, is you, so is YouTube. Fucking signing off. I've been Dr. Darkseid. You can find your own fucking videos from now on. Taking Darkseid. Um, I've been President Privilege. <laughs> In your fucking dreams. End tail and frequencies. End communications. God. Beep, beep, beep. Fuck it. <laughs> What's wrong with juggle wrestling? Oh.